Hi everyone, this is SOJ Consorts. Today we are doing taking off for roofing part one. Taking off for roofing part one. Today we are going to do talk about wall plates and tie beam. Wall plates and tie beam. If you are yet to watch our introduction video for roofing, please check under the description. You will see a link for our first video on roofing this will help us to be able to know each members identify each members and to know each members the usefulness in roofing the i mean the tie beam the wall plate the pin foot the rafter the pole line the fascia board bad board roof covering so check under the description you will see our first video which is introduction to roofing for today today we are going to start with wall plates and tie beam so we already know what our wall plate is our wall plate is resting directly on the wall or block or roof beam so this is the wall this wall plate carries the other parts of the roof it carries the tie beam it carries the roof truss then tie beam is a is a member that's laid directly on the wall plate and it supports the truss it supports the truss so let's get back to our work so we're going to start a new page we're going to start a new page let's copy the heading let's copy the heading of our previous page Ctrl C and come here And paste Ctrl V. So our for roofing, roofing, centralized. Let's make it centralized. For roofing, our first item here is work, work please. Then, before marrying our wall plate, I would like us to make a small calculation here. Small, write out, write down, uh, write down our measurements here. Let's measure our our block work and our roof and our roof extension. Let's write block work. Let me match these two cells. Just write it and take match cell. Then write block work. block wall well, we have the length we have the width then we have the roof let's match these two cells so right to roof you have the length you have the width then for the block wall let's go into our autocad so this is our autocad version for this roof we are treating a pitch roof with gable hand it has gable at two hands it has gable at two hands so this is what we are going to be dealing with not the uh, type of roof we are using in the train we are going to be dealing with this two roof so for our block work if you see the highlights highlights here so this is our block work this our block wall highlighted here. Then for this roof, there's extension at the that at the left if and the right if. There's like 600 mm extension, 600 extension from beyond the block wall. So this, so if we are to measure our block wall, we take the center line of our external block wall to the other center line because our from work let me say our member roof member like such as uh, wall plate will be placed at the center will be placed at the center we'll show us some a picture now can we see, can we all see this the wall plate is was placed at the center of the wall. 
So the dimension of our the length of our mock work now. We look at our drawing from here to here is 10.375, which is 10.38. We can type that for our length. Also for our our width for block work. We can check our width here is 21.6. 21.6. We can try and write that down. 10 points for the length. 10.38 for the width 21.6 also for our roof our roof goes beyond the block work to the left six hundred to the right six hundred which is one point two so if if you calculate dimension for our length our length here is 11.58 11.58 then for our width we have let's check our width we have 22.8 we have 22.8 so let's put that down 22.8 so let's try and make this centralized. I like it being center. Right. So we can now color it as red. Color the cell as red. The main purpose is just to know that this cell we edit it is editable. So if we use if I using this Excel sheet as a template, that means this red cell red cell are the editable part of of the template. So, item then for for our special type of roof our pitch roof at gable end gable end at two sides that means we are going to use our work plate will be at the two longest side will be because at this side at this side at this side is our uh, our water is falling to this side to this side so our our work plate will be at these two sides our work plate won't be at this other hand won't be at this other hand because it's a gable hand so let's check for and our work plate is on on our block so that means we take the block width of our block work at this side and at this side so for the width of our block work is 21.2 21 so let's write that down 21.6 then it's multiplied by 2 at the left at the right so to get we sum up everything we sum up it, uh, two times two times this we find our answer our answer is for 3.20 for 3.20 so the next item is type b And we know what our type beam is so we know that what our type beam is so this is our type beam our type beam is this one resting directly on our work plate and it's going to span span through the work plate our type beam is span through the work plate. so let's check the for our let's check the description of our work can you see 50 by 150 mm hardwood Timber type beam at 1 to 1200 mm center to center. That means it's going to span along the wall plate. Wall plate. So that means 1.2 at center to center. So let us write it down. Here, write 1.2, then at center to center. Center to center. So the length of our type beam will be the uh, the length of our block work because our block work is resting on the two sides of the type of the uh, our type beam is resting on the two sides of the work plates. So this type beam is resting on the work plate at this end and at this end, at this end and at this end. So that's what we are trying to see. So and it's pan across. 
and a tie being palm across the wall plate. So the length is the length of the building. So if you check our card, the length of the building is from here to here, which is 10.38. 10.3 hit. Write it down. 10.38. So to get the numbers of our tie beam at 1.2 center to center, you know I told I told us that our tie beam is it runs across our wall plate. It runs across our wall plate just like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like that. So we are going to find the length of our wall plate divide by 1.2 because it's 1.2 center to center and we are now add plus 1 to it so let us effect that so right equals to the length of our wall plate which is this divided by 1.2 center to center then plus 1 so we got 19 numbers, 19 numbers. So we are going to multiply 19 times the dimension of our tie beam. So just you can copy formula, just click on this cell, press Ctrl C and come to this here, press Ctrl V. So our tie beam is 197.22 meters. So it's measured in meters. It's measured in meters. So that's all about our wall plates and our tie beam so if you are watching us for the first time and the first time and you find this content interesting please like our video subscribe to our youtube channel and please share our videos with your friends and in the built environment bye god bless you